Hello students, I am Dr. Uma B. Pujar, Assistant Professor of Commerce, Government First Grade College and PG Center, Dharwar. Today I am going to show you how to prepare cost sheet. So let us see which is the problem we are going to solve or we are going to prepare cost sheet for. So, so this is the cost sheet which I'm going to prepare now. This is the question here. And uh, this is the uh, question uh, which was asked in 2015 question paper from Karnataka University Dharwar for five marks. So from the following particulars of Udyog Limited, prepare cost sheet showing cost per unit, direct material cost, five lakh, direct wages, three lakh, direct expenses, two lakh, Factor overhead 50% of direct wages, administration overhead 10% of works cost, selling overhead rupees 5 per unit, units produced and sold 10,000 units at rupees 150 per unit. So let us see now how to prepare cost sheet. Showing. Okay. So for this uh, very first thing we have to write the heading as cost sheet and they have given how many units are produced we have to write here 10,000 units these are the produced units keep it in the bracket here how many units are produced now this is the particulars column and this is the total cost column total cost and this is your cost per unit cost per unit okay the very first item given in this problem is direct material cost so let us take it here direct material cost so what's given it is 5 lakh rupees rupees 5 lakh and per unit when we divide this 5 lakh upon 10,000 it comes to 50 and next for this we are going to add direct wages direct wages so it's given as 3 lakh here so we have to add all the costs here so whatever cost we have incurred should be added here so when we divide this 3 lakh to 10,000 it comes to 30 rupees so for this again we they have given direct expenses all direct costs should be taken here at the top of this cost sheet now direct expenses direct expenses is given as 2 lakh When we divide this with 10,000 units, it comes to 20, rupees 20. So we have to add all the three. So these are the direct costs. When we add all the three direct costs, we arrive at, we arrive at prime cost. So this is 10 lakhs. And this comes to 100 rupees. What is this now? This is prime cost. This is the first main head of the cost sheet. Prime cost. And for this we are going to add factory overhead. So what's given in the problem factory overhead is 50% of direct wages. Now let us see here how to calculate now. So direct wages is 3 lakh here. It's given as 3 lakh. So 50% of that 50% of 3 lakh it comes to 1,50,000. So, 
take it as 1,50,000 here. In the, here, in works factory cost, take it as 1,50,000. And when we divide it with 10,000 units, it comes to 15. One, five. So now let's add this. When we add this, we arrive at works cost. So let us add this. So we arrive at 11 lakh 15,000, 50,000. And this comes to 115, 115. So what is this? This is works cost. Works cost. So for this, now we are going to add, it's given here administrative overhead. So add, add. administrative overhead. So what's given in the problem? Administrative overhead is 10% of works cost. 10% of work cost. Again, we have to go for working node. So we have to calculate what is the 10% of works cost. So now if we take here 10% of Works cost, works cost is 11,50,000. So when we do this, it comes to 1,15,000. So now let us write it here as 1,15,000 in the column here. 1,15,000. So when we divide this with 10,000 units, it comes to 11 point, point 50, say. So let us add this and we'll arrive at cost of production. Cost of production. So let us add here, it comes to 12,65,000. So it comes to 126,50. They say so. What is this? This is cost of production. Cost of production. So the next point given in the problem is selling overhead rupees 5 per unit. Selling overhead is 5 per unit. So now let's add again selling overhead. Add selling overhead. What's given in the problem? Selling overhead is rupees 5 per unit. So how many units are being produced here? So it's produced 10,000 units. So we have to take it as 10,000 units. So 10,000 units into rupees 5. So it comes to how much? It comes to 50,000. 50,000. And uh, this is given already as 5 rupees. So keep it as 5. So now when we add this one, we arrive at 
cost of sales so let us see the total what is the total 13 lakh 13 lakh 15 thousand and this one 131.31.50 so what is this this is cost of cost of goods sold so for this we, we are going to add profit and let us see what's given related to profit so when we go to the problem units sold produced and sold is 10,000 units at rupees 150 so say they have given the information regarding sales that is 10,000 units are being sold at rupees 150 so let us write here so there we have to write here as profit they are not given anything about profit leave it blank now they are given some information related to sales sales means what they have given here 10,000 10,000 units sold at rupees sold at rupees 150 per unit so we have to multiply this and keep it here so what is the total that is 15 lakhs so it's already given in the problem that is 150 units per unit 150 units so this is the balancing figure now profit will be the balancing figure that is you have to deduct this cost of goods sold from this sales 15 lakh minus 13 lakh 15000 so we arrive at 1 lakh 85000 so profit will be 1 lakh 85000 and per unit will be 18.50 so this is how we prepare our cost sheet so lastly we are going to see the sales here this is the profit 1 lakh 85000 this is the balance here uh, so uh, this is how we prepare the cost sheet so just have a look at it and in my next class we are going to solve another problem so just take this and be prepared for the next problem so until then have a nice time thank you